What is up YouTube? Hope everybody's having a great day. So today, just want to give you guys a little update what's going on throughout the day, what I've been doing after post show. So as you can see the physique update and what I look like, let's see the weight right now. pounds finally we're implementing a lot more food we're not having only 1700 calories 1600 calories we're definitely increasing the food and like for example my breakfast is now five egg whites two eggs whole uh, a cup of spinach a cup of oatmeal with blueberries so I'm gonna cook that up right now and then we're gonna go kill some chest Okay guys, so I want to teach you a little trick to help with your digestion. I know a lot of people, when they're eating a lot of food or even when you're cutting, your digestion is all messed up and maybe you're constipated or you just can't flush yourself out. So every morning what I do is I have 16 ounces of lemon water and then I take these drinks, Swedish bitters. So what Swedish bitters do is it helps with digestion. So I take about a tablespoon every morning just so that Throughout the day, my body can digest and break down all the nutrition from the food that we are eating. I'll be honest, it's not the best tasting, but I have to because I, I have to drink it because of the fact that I want to make sure that I basically get all the nutrition from the food and that I digest it and I'm not bloated. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing. A lot of people take this. This helps so many people. My father, who's a diabetic, takes this every single day. And he's honestly, it lowered his blood pressure and he had diabetes and he also is not a diabetic anymore because he was type two diabetic. So he took this every morning. So I actually take it every morning as well. And it's another great thing to help with your body and your levels. So like again, one capsule. Definitely not the best tasting. Well, what my dad, what my dad does, he puts cinnamon and honey in this drink in, and it tastes completely different. But for me, I just take a capsule in the morning. It doesn't taste great. I'm not gonna lie, but I make sure I get this in every single day, just so that I can get on with my day and make sure that everything works perfect with my body, so that I can just my digest my food and absorb all the nutrition from everything that I'm eating. Eggs came out great. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I lost a couple. I lost a lot. So much for doing this with one hand. Okay, so breakfast is finally cooked. So we have two whole eggs, five egg whites with a cup of spinach. We have one cup of oats with 70 grams of blueberries. I got my Himalaya salt and my ground cinnamon so I can mix it great if you guys want to or if you guys are tired of just plain oats literally I advise you putting these two seasonings on and it tastes amazing I can't eat these plain honestly it's just to me I don't like I don't like the taste I think it tastes terrible and another thing I just spoke about digestion and absorbing all the nutrition I take one pill let's focus focus there we go I take one pill of digestive enzymes every meal so one capsule one meal so if I eat six times I take six capsules and this is gonna help with the same thing about everything else that we just did talked about digesting your food flushing your systems out and absorbing the amount of new uh, absorbing all the nutrition out of your food I get a lot of questions about what do I take before I go to the gym so I usually take one of nutrition stim free pre-workout basically it has no caffeine in it but it does everything it needs to do in a pre-workout and then i take pure rebuild so basically what pure rebuild is creatine you're basically taking creatine glutamine eaas and i i've literally been taking the creatine 
for years. So I mix those two together. The flavors are rainbow candy and it's raspberry lemonade. Literally, when I mix that, it literally tastes like Skittles. And honestly, I'm not a big Skittles guy, but when I do have some Skittles, it does taste great. So having this in a drink, the taste is kind of amazing right now, in my opinion. I'm on a kick with this. I've been on this for about two, three months now, and I haven't changed flavors because every time I drink it, I'm like, wow, this literally tastes like Skittles. So if you guys want to try that out, the pre-workout stack, go to oneupnutrition.com. Link is in the bio. Um, use my code Danny Shred, save 20% off, plus the discounts they already have on their site every week. And definitely pick these two products up. Been using these products for, I've been using the creatine for years. The stem free only came out about a year ago, but I've been using them since they come out and they literally are remarkable. back from the gym hit some chest broke hit some shoulders and some chest now it's time for our post-workout meals right now I'm only consuming 50 grams cream of rice some Himalaya salt on top just to give me some hydration and two scoops of whey isolate chocolate milkshake best flavor isolate I've ever had and then let's see what Brooks took in. Brooks also using um, one up nutrition's ISO way, but it's the um, vanilla. ice cream, vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream flavor. She does it with Aunt Jemima. She does a what's the measurement you usually do? Um, half a cup of pancake mix and a scoop of protein and some chocolate chips. Yep, extremely healthy breakfast with the, with the no sugar syrup. 
Yes. Is it the Casey or the um, log cabin? Yeah, she's got this log cabin. I actually tried it when I was using my pancakes. And literally, it's actually pretty damn good. You know, everybody gets nervous because it's like, oh, sugar-free is not going to taste good. That's not syrup. But honestly, me and Brooke both had this multiple times, and it's pretty damn good. It's only um, 10 calories. There's no added sugar. There is only four carbs, no fat. So this syrup is extremely healthy and great healthy breakfast that's enjoyable. It's not just basically egg whites or oats. You're just having pancakes. Yeah, but you see this one, it needs a little bit more comfort. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to scarf this down and then we're going to get along with our day. What is up, guys? So, after my post-workout meal, I ended up coming home, cooking another meal, and now I'm working on editing these YouTube videos, and today's Monday, so every Monday I have client check-ins. So, I check in with my clients, make sure they're hitting their goals, achieving their goals, and um, making sure that they are on track with their diet, their workouts, make sure their their minds are focused because when your mind is in focus, you lose um, the mentality of continuing to achieve your goal. So that's what I usually do on Mondays and I usually edit a YouTube video because I usually want one out every maybe like twice a week. So that's what I'm doing right now and yeah, we're going on throughout the day. And this is what I usually do now that it's post-show and it's back to the grind of making sure that my clients are getting what they need, making sure that I'm working out and eating my food, making sure that I'm getting my content out for you guys, and making sure that I have the mental health to stay focused throughout the day and keep pushing every single day. What's up guys? So we are currently on the way to my boy Edmund's house. Edmund is a videographer. He's actually done a couple of projects of mine and we have a lot of projects in the future together. And he actually just filmed my whole um, bodybuilding show. And we're actually going to his house right now so that we could do a little voiceover because we had just about finished up editing that whole video and hopefully that will be dropping soon. But we wanna make sure this video is perfect because this is a big deal for me. So that's what we're doing now, we're on the way to do a little voiceover. She's able to like get her eyes and her ears with the wet towel. All right, so we just left Ed's and the voiceover went great. And I saw a couple of glimpses of the video about the show and it's coming out great. Honestly, almost brought tears to my eyes of joy looking at that video and just seeing the accomplishments and the hard work and dedication I put into that. But everything went great. I hope I'll get the video soon, most likely, hopefully this week. And now we're on the way home. We still gotta eat one more meal. It's, it's 10.30 already, but I still gotta eat another meal. And then I do my night routine. So I'll catch you guys when we get back. So usually when I end up showering, finish me my food, I get into bed now and I've been doing this nightly routine and I'm trying to stay at it every single night now. So, I have my journal. I usually write my journal about my day. I have my brainstorm book. Come up with ideas and important things I need to do. Then, I just got this book about two days ago, actually, from Stephen Shea. They sent this out to me. They are authors of Master Your Mind Power. It's a bestseller and they love the way I motivate people and influence people and the way that just my whole social media platforms are so they sent me out a book to try out and honestly it's a pretty damn good book. I really enjoy it and I'm just getting started with chapter one. I read the intro, chapter one. So this is it's a pretty good damn book and I'm gonna continue reading it till the end. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this book. But yeah, so this is what I try and do. I try and at night clear my head, relax for about a half hour. I'm going to work on these books. And then probably for another 20 minutes, I'm going to read and just relax, unwind, and then finish off my night. And then good, good night's sleep, try and get at least 7-8 hours, and then start the day all over again tomorrow. But I want you to do me a favor. I want you guys to start with a blank book or sticky notes or a pad. And just start writing down how your day went. 
and ways that you can achieve the next one. And try and brainstorm ideas for yourself so that you can go out there the next day and you can conquer and achieve those goals. Because it's all about writing it down and doing the action. Putting it on a physical copy or putting it out there so that you could see it every single day. And then leaving it on your nightstand knowing that it's there for you and that you're going to pass it every single day. For example, I want to eat better. So put that piece of paper out, or leave the book open on your nightstand, so you now you wake up in the morning and as you walk past it, it says, I want to eat better. So now what you do is you start your morning thinking about eating better foods and then you approach the day throughout the day focusing on healthier foods to eat doesn't even matter if you go out to eat. You can go out and you can still eat healthy. You can go to Applebee's or Chili's and you can still go get grilled chicken on a wrap. Like, you can still eat healthy. So, doing these simple little tasks at night, just so you can set up your day for tomorrow, it's a great way to give yourself a building block to success. So, do me a favor, try it out. And, like, comment, subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay?